And uh, go ahead and strike up verse 1 of that last song. We'll sing that again at the very end, verse 1 of Salvation Has Been Brought Down. Um, and we're, we're at the conclusion of the graduation, we're going to ask Brother Matthew, uh, Matthew Singh, to lead us in a prayer at, at the end of the graduation. And I just want to read, I was handed a card from uh, Johnny's parents from Guyana, South America. I just want to read this card before we proceed further, because uh, once this starts, man, there's going to be no time for nothing. All right? But anyway, we uh, well, appreciate, and, and, and really I want to say this right off the bat, in um, the Bible class this morning, we studied about uh, a little bit about parents, and you know, Moses, by faith, his parents hit him three months and all that. I'm telling you right now, some of you can relate to this more directly than others, but it takes faith to send your child across the world to, uh, you know, live with people. Of course, in that case, it's not really strangers or anything like that, but still, you're sending your child, your baby boy, <laughs> yes, sir, can't get away from that now, uh, your baby boy halfway across the world to study and live among people, live in a culture and all that. And uh, that takes a lot of faith, I'm telling you right now. It takes a lot of faith. And so we appreciate that just from the get-go. And it takes a lot of faith for the young man like that to do the same type of thing. Although, you know, young guys are all for adventure and all that stuff, and Johnny's that guy too. But I want to read this. It says, to the elders, preachers, and members of the South Florida Avenue Church of Christ, greetings and Christian love. I wanted to take the time to thank you all for your help, support, kindness, and love toward my son, Jonathan Singh. I can never thank everyone enough for the things that you did for Johnny. Your constant effort to help him is highly appreciated. His Christian brothers and sisters had gone the extra mile for him, especially during the time of his sickness. Thanks to Brian, his wife, and others who I do not know by names, but you all know who you are. Thanks for the help and encouragement uh, given to him by two wonderful Christian brothers, Kevin from Sebring and Glenn from Eagle Lake Congregation, two years ago to attend the Florida School of Preaching. He had made the uh, highest decision, talking about Johnny, and we as parents are very proud of him. Also a special thank you to his teachers uh, who have molded his mind and let him be the person he is today. Not to forget the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Thank once again for your support uh, as he continues to further his education and labors in the kingdom of God. Thanks, thanks, thanks. Uh, in Christian love, Brother Samuel and family. And then Psalm 1, 4 and 5. And so that, uh, I wanted to read that. Uh, some of us have met uh, Samuel and uh, his wife, and so we appreciate that very much. All right, Johnny comes to us, and he, is, uh, he came to us the semester before the COVID hit, and uh, then he was here throughout the COVID, and so he has a very unique uh, perspective of the School of Preaching, and, uh, but he came to us again from New Amsterdam Church of Christ in Guyana, South America, and uh, that same area is where Glenn was, Glenn Wilcutt. Uh, we, how long were we over there, Glenn? Since 83, and... Uh, he lived there for a while, was an on-site missionary, and been going back every year. And so he's been very involved in the work there. But uh, Johnny comes from that area of New Amsterdam, South America. Uh, before enrolling in the school, he was a part-time photographer, working both uh, independently and with other local uh, photographers. And so he has got kind of that artsy side to him. And uh, he is a graduate of the uh, Burbese High School. And he studied architecture for a year in New Amsterdam Technical Institute. And his dad, Samuel, is a preacher also. And he preaches for the New Amsterdam uh, congregation. And uh, he has a great family there, uh, a girl and three boys. Uh, Matthew preaches in the interior. And uh, his uh, daughter, or his sister, his oldest sister is in New Jersey, only sister. And then he's got another brother who works offshore, uh, I believe in the oil field, right, as a, as a chef. And so uh, he's out and about, uh, but a fine Christian family they are. And uh, Glenn Wilcott, of course, uh, knew him, and Glenn and Kevin were both very instrumental in bringing him over here, uh, both financially as well as sponsoring him. Uh, as most of us know, we cannot take foreign students unless they're already over here legally. We can't make them over here legally. They have to already be here legally. 
And of course, Johnny came in on a certain visa that got all blown up with the COVID and it's still all blown up, but he is assured that he is safe and he's good to be here. He's flown within the state and back, so he's good there. Just don't try any international flights for a while, but um, he's good. But uh, so he's kind of cap captive in America, but that's all right, because we, we get to be with him. We get the blessing of that. But we really do appreciate Glenn and Kevin for being that, that, that sponsor. The Sebring Parkway Church Christ and the Eagle Lake Church Christ uh, have been there all along, and we appreciate that. In fact, there's no way he could be here without that. And uh, that's just uh, something, just a fact of the matter. So we appreciate you all very much, um, even though I'm the guy that takes him to the ER when he has the COVID, but that's all right, you know. <laughs> but we work together, man. We work together. Uh, but after graduation, uh, Jonathan plans on working with the congregation as an associate minister, but he does want to take advantage of his youngness, his sharpness. As uh, George Beals would say, he's wicked smart, but... Uh, <laughs> You know, maybe not that, but he's got a lot of good insight, got a, look, got a lot of good uh, insight into Scripture, a good thinker, a critical thinker, independent thinker, and we really appreciate that. And, you know, that's, that's what, something I want to say about the school. We are not here to make robots. I'm telling you that right now. Amen. We are not here to make robots. We don't want a clone of me or anybody else, thank goodness, but um, we, we don't want you just parroting what we teach, Okay. We want our students to look at the scripture, study, and justify their conclusions on what this book says. We're not here to, you don't have to be a card-carrying whatever. Uh, we just have to make sure we are in agreement with the Lord. And there's areas we can differ and still be faithful in fellowship and true to God. Those matters of judgment, matters of option. And that's what we want our students to, to, to do. We want them to think for themselves with the scripture and go by that and don't get up and say, you know, well, you know, Florida School of Preaching teaches this, Florida School of Preaching teaches that. You can find a school of preaching somewhere that will teach almost anything, but it's what does this teach? Amen. This is what we have to go by. And we appreciate Jonathan and appreciate his work, and we'd like to call him up here for this certificate. And, uh, of course, we've got our official photographer here. Pretty cool stuff. I've seen Gavin and Eddie grab theirs and Danny, and they're all stared at it, so I guess I got to do it too. <laughs> Stare at it for a second. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'll tell you what, I'm extremely grateful to be here. I'm, um, I'm not somebody who necessarily tries to write speeches down or notes, but I had to for this occasion because if I don't, I'll start crying, and as I say, my estrogen is going to kick in, and I don't want that <laughs> right now. <laughs> so I had to write a couple things down. <laughs> um, <laughs> when I first came here back in 2019, a lot of things were undecided of what's going to be the outcome of my studies here, what's going to be the outcome of my stay here, and it's been... You know, on the bright side of the COVID for my condition, I've had COVID, by the way, so, you know, it has some flip sides to it. But on the bright side of it, like Brian said, it's helped me uh, stay captive in the U.S. so that I can continue studying without distractions of having to leave and maybe not even knowing if I can study online given the circumstances of back home. But when I came here, a lot of things were going through my mind about, uh, you know, just not being certain about the situation here and I was telling some people I had anxiety attacks being in the house, you know, back home in the Caribbean. We have fences and borders and everything's on your, on, uh, on your door and houses. And here it was just a glass door. If you push it too hard, it'll open. And I'm like, I can't sleep in this place. It's scary, man. <laughs> and I used to be going to Eddie's and Gavin's room. Oh, Gavin's here, man. Yeah. <laughs> I used to be going to Eddie and Gavin's room and stuff. And, you know, sometimes I'll sit on the floor with them just to stay comfortable because of how anxious I was in, in the situation of the house. But even more so, 
as I examined the life of Paul, and I went through a couple of things in the book of Acts, I mean, chapter 26, he's got this issue with Agrippa as he pleads his case. And in chapter 27, it says that they've decided that he's going to make his journey on their way to Italy. And he gets in this boat with the other prisoners, and they start to go. And in, as the chapter continues, they had a rough time there. And in chapter 28, they landed on the island of Malta. I want to take you there to Acts chapter 28. Acts chapter 28. Verse 1 says, Now when they had escaped, they found out that they were on the island called Malta. Verse 2 says this, And the natives showed us unusual kindness, for they kindled a fire and made us all welcome because of the rain and the failing of the cold. And it goes on in verse 7 and verse 10 to continue talking about the kindness that was showed to them and especially to Paul. And I came to this country very undecided and just not sure of the people and the circumstances here. And I was shown a lot of unusual kindness and in many cases undeserved kindness. And you all here helped me so much throughout my experience in this school, throughout my stay here in the US, and without all of y'all's love and just extreme kindness, I wouldn't be the person that I am today. And the amount of second and third opportunities that God has given me, I could not have been able to stand before you and present his words. And you know, I said I made a list to help me walk through a lot of this, but there's so many names that I can go through. I mean, firstly, I'd like to thank the congregations that sponsored me, Kevin and his family, along with Sebring and Eagle Lake and the Wilcuts. And then, you know, I'd like to thank South Florida Avenue. This is being here was a great time. It was a great time. I can go on and on and list, list many names. I mean, I could probably list everybody in this building as influencing me in some way. And it has been a real good pleasure to be here. Receiving this certificate, I've said to my mom, is probably the most proud thing I've did in my life of every other thing that I've tried to accomplish. It was very hard, and I wanted to give up in many conditions, but I'm thankful I had encouraging brethren that pushed me through this. And I know that I can go forward and proclaim God's word more boldly and be able to continually learn it, and even more so help other people come to Christ. So those couple words, I'm just extremely thankful to be here, and I'm really glad this school gave me this opportunity and everyone else that were involved in this. So thank you all for this. Just Yeah, I just rem remember that as he was saying that. He couldn't believe how much glass is on our doors around here. And, of course, I have heard stories about Guyana, you know, they got junkyard dogs in the ba and, you know, down there and, and all that stuff, you know. But anyway, different culture, different, different lot of things. And, uh, but yet, the one thing that brings us all together, as he said, is, is the gospel. And so we appreciate that. And I just want to mention those who may be here, not a lot, maybe this is your first time here, but... School of Preaching began in 1969 uh, under the oversight of the elders, and Brother Carr was very instrumental. Some other brethren, G.K. Wallace and uh, B.C. Good Pastor, uh, were also encouragers of the school very early. And uh, it could not be done without the support of the local brethren and local congregations. And uh, Johnny's just another example of that. Um, but you guys have come through all the time, and uh, we're always looking for students. So if you can... Get word out for us. If you know some young men or maybe not so young men that you think would make good preachers, point them our way. And that's uh, what we want to do is continue to get more students. So we're going to sing a song, uh, that verse, uh, one verse of uh, Salvation Has Been Brought Down. This is our unofficial theme song, or maybe it could be official. I'm not sure of the difference between official and unofficial, but we sing it quite a bit. And then we're going to ask Brother Matthew Singh to come up and lead us in a prayer and um, pray for Johnny's... You know, when he leaves here, his next few months or few weeks, and so, uh, and as as we ser all serve in the Lord. All right, let's go ahead and stand and be standing for the prayer, and then don't forget, there's a little, there'll be some finger foods back there, fellowship little deal back there, and so please come back there if you can. Uh, Vince, why, you got you got anything left in you, Vince? Or? Oh yeah, come on up here and lead us. <laughs> I know, man. But. Now that they ask me, my voice feels kind of tired. All right. <laughs> Who are you, Johnny? <laughs> Praise the Lord. Jesus gave his life for ransom yonder on Calvary. On Mount Calvary, cruel Calvary. Paved the way by blood that we might wear our shining crown. 
Praise his holy name. Salvation has been brought down. Praise the Lord. Salvation has been brought down. Go and shout and tell it to the world around. Tell it to today. Tell it today. Preach the word of God that we might win a crown. Tell the lost salvation has fallen free. Spread the news all over the land and sea. Tell it on a farm. Tell it on a farm. Pray. Salvation has been brought down. Pleasant good evening, everyone. Shall we pray together, please? Lord of light, creator of glory, how awesome, how wonderful you are. As we take this opportunity to lay before your throne of grace and mercy, we cannot help but give you thanks and praise for your goodness, for your wonderfulness, for always finding a way of taking care of us, O Heavenly Father. We thank you for this grand opportunity this evening of worshiping you in spirit and in truth. And as we worship you this evening, we pray that all that would have been said and done would have approached your throne of grace as a sweet smell and aroma. And may our hearts be blessed and encouraged by the words that were shared by your brother, by our brother. We also pray this evening, thanking you for the occasion of having a graduation ceremony for Brother Jonathan. And we pray, O oh Heavenly Father, that all the things that he would have learned, the experiences that he would have gained during his years of schooling, that he will capitalize and use it in a wonderful, meaning way as he ventures off further into the ministry. We also pray that as he contemplates further academic studies, the doors of opportunity will be open for him. And even if it takes time, O oh Heavenly Father, that he will exercise the patience needed to be able to trust on you for that guidance. We pray that as he works in the ministry, that he will do so with much humility that he will not allow the knowledge that he would have gained from this school to puff him up, that he will not allow himself to feel that he knows more than anyone else, but that, he will, but that he will serve with much humility in your kingdom. We thank you so much for all that played a part in helping him to be the Christian that he is at this time. And we pray that he can be able to make that likewise impact in the life of others as well. We thankful for the refreshments that was provided for us, and we pray that as we congregate and fellowship, that it will do our hearts and spirit much good. May you watch over us through the remaining of this night. For, give, for we give you thanks and praise. For it is in Jesus' most precious name we pray. Amen. 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 